I had COVID in April of 2020. I had 102 fever every day, so I called the COVID center. They said, you know, just quarantine and just wait it out. I started trying to work out after that, after my two weeks of quarantine, and I couldn't go down the block without being out of breath. And at that time, I had swollen lymph nodes. So I went to the urgent care, and they told me, you need to go to the emergency room like today, right away. They gave me three options. Either it was benign, it was lymphoma, or it was sarcoma. At the time, the only thing I thought was that I was gonna die. Before I went in the room, I was looking at the scans and I read the record and I, and I saw a 23-year-old female and I said, oh my God, this is not good. And I realized that doing a quick literature search that the standard of care was not gonna work. We didn't have enough time, it's not that effective, and unless you can have the tumor surgically removed, you cannot cure it, and it's a 100% fatality rate if you can't remove it surgically. We realized that we we're gonna to have to do something different. We had access to this new type of genomic assessment where we could look at DNA and RNA of the tumor. We were able to get a path forward. The problem was though that several of the medications that the genetic testing said would probably be effective were not FDA approved for intimal sarcoma because nothing's approved for intimal sarcoma because it's so rare. So because of our relationships with industry and because we're an NCI designated cancer center, we were able to get things that others couldn't get. And so she received those medicines and slowly but surely this tumor shrank. And I remember we went to go see my thoracic surgeon, Dr. Risk, and he told me, we're gonna cut you from here to here. We're gonna break your ribs. We're gonna take out your heart. We're gonna stop it. And then we're gonna do the surgery. And then you're, hopefully we'll get the tumor. We'll put your heart back in. And then from there, you'll go on a ventilator and you'll be asleep on your ventilator for a 24 to 36 hours after your surgery. Probably the greatest moment, uh, other than her waking up and being okay, was getting the pathology report and showing that the medicines and the radiation that we gave her following this genomic pathway, the tumor was 90, 95% dead. It's likely she's been cured. They were able to put a plan together that worked so well and I owe my life to them. <laughs>